BTS's J-Hope sent fans into a complete frenzy when he surprised everyone with an intimate and cozy livestream from his bed. Known for his infectious energy, dazzling stage presence, and impeccable style, J-Hope offered a rare glimpse into his personal life, captivating armies with his laid-back charm and relatability. It wasn't long before the internet erupted with excitement as clips and screenshots from the stream began circulating, showcasing the idol's relaxed yet playful demeanor. Dressed in soft, comfortable pajamas, J-Hope looked every bit the approachable and warm personality that fans have come to love. The live stream felt more like a late-night chat with a close friend than an interaction with one of the world's biggest stars. From the start, the BTS member radiated warmth, drawing fans into his world as he talked candidly about his day, shared updates on his life, and even walked viewers through parts of his nighttime routine. One of the highlights of the live stream was J-Hope's skincare segment. As he applied a face mask live on camera, fans couldn't help but gush over his glowing complexion and dedication to self-care. The moment quickly became a talking point online, with armies praising him not only for his flawless skin but also for showing the importance of taking care of oneself. The sight of the ever-stylish and polished J-Hope indulging in a bit of self-pampering added a relatable and heartwarming touch to the stream. However, it wouldn't be a J-Hope moment without a touch of fun and excitement. Always the life of the party, he turned his bed into an impromptu stage as he joined in on some of the internet's hottest dance challenges. First, he grooved to Tyler, the creator's sticky, flawlessly executing moves from the viral dance trend. Then, he upped the energy by taking on the smoke challenge, leaving fans in awe of his effortless rhythm and captivating charisma. Ever the entertainer, J-Hope didn't just stop at one round, he repeated the dances, bringing his signature flair to each performance and making fans feel like they were watching a private show. Amid all the smooth moves and charm, one of the most endearing moments of the stream came when J-Hope accidentally dropped his phone on his face mid-live stream. The hilarious mishap had fans in stitches, with many calling it the most relatable part of the night. Comments flooded in, with fans lovingly teasing the idol and sharing their own stories of similar moments. J-Hope laughed it off, showing his trademark humor and easygoing nature, making the moment even more memorable. As the livestream continued, armies couldn't help but feel a deeper connection to the BTS member. His candid and down-to-earth interactions made fans feel like they were sharing a personal moment with him, breaking down the usual barriers between idol and audience. Many fans expressed their gratitude for the chance to see this softer, more personal side of J-Hope, describing the livestream as a reminder of why he is so beloved worldwide. When the stream ended, the internet was abuzz with clips and fan reactions. Hashtags related to J-Hope and his livestream trended globally, with fans sharing their favorite moments and praising him for his authenticity. From his playful dance challenges to his skincare tips to his genuine laughs, J-Hope proved once again why he's not just a superstar but a truly special individual who knows how to connect with his fans on a deeper level. This live stream wasn't just an ordinary hangout, it became a symbol of the close relationship J-Hope shares with armies. His ability to balance his role as a global icon with such relatable and heartfelt moments is what sets him apart. Through his actions, he reminded fans that behind the fame and spotlight, he is someone who values connection, humor, and authenticity above all else. If you're a fan of BTS or love seeing these personal moments with idols, don't forget to like this post and subscribe to our channel. The internet has been a blessing and a curse when it comes to relationships, with scammers exploiting trust and emotions to swindle unsuspecting victims. A recent case involving a 48-year-old Thai woman and a catfisher pretending to be Got Sevens Jackson Wang serves as a stark reminder of the dangers lurking online. The story started innocently enough. The woman, who was not a fan of Jackson Wang, came across a video clip of him online. Intrigued, she liked the video, inadvertently drawing the attention of the scammer behind the account. Claiming to be Jackson Wang himself, the scammer reached out via direct message. Initially skeptical, the woman dismissed the claims as absurd. However, the scammer persisted, going as far as to video call her. Using footage of Jackson and various tactics, he convinced her of his identity. To further cement the illusion, he offered her a chance to join his exclusive VIP fan club, which promised benefits like concert tickets and backstage passes. Despite not being a fan, she declined the offer, at first. The scammer didn't back down. Bombarding her with messages, he manipulated her through affectionate words and fabricated opportunities. Over time, the woman began to believe she was in contact with the real Jackson Wang. The scam escalated when Jackson started asking for financial assistance, framing his requests as loans and investment opportunities. In March 2023, she transferred over 70,000, roughly 2,000 US dollars, in cryptocurrency. What began as a one-time transaction snowballed into a series of payments as the scammer exploited her growing trust and affection. By May 2023, 
the woman had drained her life savings and the money set aside for her mother's medical expenses, sending a staggering total of 5 million, approximately 143,424 US dollars, to the scammer. Believing in promises of repayment with interest and a future together, she fell deeper into the deception. When the truth came to light, it was devastating. Not only had the woman lost her savings, but she also experienced severe emotional trauma, including anxiety and suicidal thoughts. Desperate for justice, she filed a police report, but her money remains unrecovered. Unfortunately, this is not an isolated incident. Impersonators frequently exploit the fame of global celebrities like Jackson Wang to prey on vulnerable individuals. The rise of digital platforms and cryptocurrency transactions has made it easier for scammers to operate anonymously and evade accountability. This heartbreaking story underscores the importance of vigilance in online interactions, particularly when financial requests are involved. Fans and non-fans alike should be cautious of unsolicited messages from people claiming to be celebrities, especially when money is involved. Protect yourself and others by staying informed, and don't hesitate to report suspicious activities. Share this story to raise awareness and help prevent others from falling victim to similar scams. If you enjoy the SBS Entertainment Program Running Man is set to deliver laughter and surprises in its upcoming November 24th episode. This week's show features a unique mission dubbed the This Intimate Overseas Travel Race, where the members will tackle creative challenges while navigating the bustling streets of Myeongdong. The race, designed to emulate the feel of an overseas trip, tasks the members with recreating the essence of various countries through themed photos. Citizens in Myeongdong must then guess the countries based on these creative images. But what started as a simple mission quickly turned into chaos when the members, tasked with buying props, were swept away by an unexpected shopping spree. Leading the pack was none other than Kim Jong-guk, the usually frugal member. Known for his stingy reputation, Kim surprised everyone by diving headfirst into shopping. After Yoo Jae-suk teased, our Jong-guk should buy some clothes, Kim enthusiastically began picking out items without hesitation, prompting the members to exclaim, is this really Kim Jong-guk? This newfound shopping zeal was contagious, as the other members eagerly joined in, making the most of the free opportunity to showcase their unique tastes. Amid the chaos, however, Haha stood out as the only member focused on the mission. Frustrated by the distracted group, he scolded them with a sharp, did you come here to shop? while confidently proclaiming himself the main character of the race. Another highlight of the episode is Ji Yeun, who stole the spotlight with her hilarious antics. Known for her love of food, Ji surprised the members by complaining about hunger despite being on a diet. During the mission, she munched on a baguette meant for props and later delivered an impromptu eating show at lunch, leaving the members in awe. Kim Jong-guk and Yoo Jae-suk humorously criticized her for binge eating, quipping, if you're going to eat like that, shouldn't you stop dieting? Undeterred, Ji defended herself, stating, lunch is fine. I'm on intermittent fasting. Her logic left the members laughing, with Yang Se Chan dubbing her the new banky girl, a term for someone who eats on air. The episode promises a thrilling mix of creativity, wit, and humor. As the members work to embody the spirit of their assigned countries, their elaborate outfits and quirky poses led to unexpected moments of hilarity. Citizens in Myeongdong added to the fun with their varied reactions, sparking both tension and laughter. From Ji Yeun's unstoppable appetite to Haha's steadfast focus and Kim Jong Guk's shocking shopping spree, this episode of Running Man is packed with unforgettable moments. With its unique theme, clever missions, and the members' unparalleled chemistry, the November 24th episode of Running Man is set to be a must watch. Fans can look forward to the team's battle of wits, the citizens' candid reactions, and a shopping extravaganza that no one saw coming. Don't miss out on the fun and excitement of this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on all the new buzz. Let us know which moment made you laugh the hardest or which member you think brought their A-game in this hilarious shopping spree and mission challenge. Your thoughts and feedback are what keep us going, so join the conversation and tell us who you think truly stole the spotlight in this unforgettable episode.